Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to bypass the iOS 8, iOS 7, and even iOS 6 activation lock screen. Now this does work on the latest iOS 8.2 firmware, and the reason I'm making this video is because I've been burned once before buying an activation lock device, and I just know how disappointing it can be buying a device thinking it was legit, and then later finding out it was activation locked, and it's pretty much worthless. I mean, it's just worth its price in parts. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to bring some functionality to those activation lock devices I actually do things with it better than having a worthless brick just laying around i'm going to show you how to watch videos play games do a lot of things that you couldn't previously do on your activation lock device now in ios 8.2 things are a little bit different apple patched the previous method if you remember my last video i showed you guys how to get into the phone and actually see the previous owner's email inside of the facetime application that's no longer possible however in this video i'm going to be showing you an updated method on how to make use of your phone run a custom custom DNS server and do a whole bunch of things with your phone that you couldn't before. So you're no longer able to get into the phone, but if you guys are on an older version of activation lock, you can still use that method right here. So click on that video and possibly you could get in and actually regain full access to your phone. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, and lastly, this does work on any device, any iPad, any iPod Touch, any iPhone. It does not matter what version you're on. Yes, this works on the latest iOS 8.2 firmware. So you guys do need to be connected to a Wi-Fi network. We're going to go ahead and go into the Wi-Fi settings. If you don't see the little I next to the network you're connected to, click the home button and then select more Wi-Fi settings. But for me, it's already here. So click on that little I, scroll down to DNS. We're going to hold it and select all and just delete it out of here. So in place of that, we're going to put in the following DNS address, 78.109.1. 7.60. Okay, and from here just select back and go ahead and select done. Now this will take a moment. If you're back at this Wi-Fi setting page right here, you'll notice that the next button is grayed out. So you gotta, you know, just play around with it, go back go back into it and eventually it will appear. Usually takes about 20, 30 seconds for me. It's still updating, connecting to it. So it disappears and then just keep going back, go in, eventually it will reappear. And there you go. All right, so click next and you're gonna go to this page. So here, click on activation help. And if at any moment during this video in the future, this server no longer works, click on this link right here or down below in the description. I'm gonna make sure to keep the server active. So if this server doesn't work, there will be a replacement. However, it's almost impossible for this one to go down. But if at any moment in the future, this no longer works, click on that link or in the description down below, there will be a link to a website where you can update with the latest server information. Anyways, so in here, go ahead and select menu. So from here, this is basically a hub to a whole bunch of activities. I mean, this almost brings back full functionality to your phone. You can play games. There's a lot of things you can do on here, and I'm going to run through a couple of them. So a couple new features include this flashlight. Uh, it's a really ingenious way of how this works. So you just select uh, right here, you take a picture, and then you can enable the flash in here. So flash enables. I mean, that's, that's pretty ingenious. Other than that, there are so many features in here. And the way this works is basically it's a little DNS server anybody can connect to and make use of their activation lock device. So inside of applications, there's a lot to choose from here too. I mean, if you use any of these, these could be useful for you. And there's even a calculator. I mean, that's pretty cool. So this is obviously not the stock application. It's a website, but it does work very well. And before, in the previous video, you could use these. I had no luck. I couldn't get them to work. I just kept trying to slide and glitch the phone, but it just does not work in iOS 8.2. I mean, if it ever works in the future, I will make a new video. But other than that, no, you can get information about your device down here. Now, the really cool thing is you can watch videos. You know, your device is no longer a brick. You can go on any of these. You can use the internet, go anywhere you want, even Netflix. I mean, how cool is that? There's games in here you can play straight from your device and they actually do work. Um, really cool. There's more selections for game down here. And there's just a bunch of other things. You can even text from this. You can use maps. Now, of course, you do need to be connected to the internet, either through a SIM card or through Wi-Fi to access this, but it is a really nice way to bring some functionality to your previously dead device. And guys, that's just about it. Unfortunately, there's no way to actually get into the phone right now on this latest firmware. But again, if that method does come out, I will make a new video. Just want to help some people that have an activation 
unlocked device and don't know what to do with them. This at least alleviates the pain just a little bit. And I do hope you enjoy this server. Props to the guy that made this really great server. And again, I will repeat, if you guys are on an older version, not 8.2, I know it's hard to tell. Uh, you can go into settings and actually check right here about this device and it'll tell you what firmware you're on. So I'm on iOS 8.2, but if you guys see that you're on 8.1.3, 8.1.2 or anything lower, you can actually get into the phone using this video right here. So click on that video. It will take you to the previous video. It'll show you how to do that. Otherwise, if you're on 8.2, there's really nothing you can do right now. So guys, I do hope this video helps you bring some functionality to your device. Enjoy all of these cool things you can do inside of here and stay tuned for any updates to activation lock. If you're still hoping for any Dolce server permanent bypass, it's not going to happen. This is the closest you will ever get to using your device again. And I do hope you take advantage of this. So have a great day. Enjoy this bypass, guys. Peace.